What's up, Jake Paulers? <laughs> no, I am not a Jake Pauler. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing on this fine, wonderful morning? I'm doing okay. I'm a bit tired. And I do need some caffeine. Coffee, to be specific. And I am sorry about this once again. But otherwise, I will spend the whole day being groggy. I am looking hella drippy, mate. Don't know why I said that. I would never, I don't. Jack's YouTube video, whoa yeah. Let's get going. Time to close the door. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm actually not going to get coffee on my own. I'm going to meet Will. Bonsoir. Will's here, let's go Je Will. Will. He's Spanish. Or is that French? It's Russian. Jack just crossed the road. We've literally there's been cars. here for like 10 minutes. Yeah, but there's cars. Why Jack, are the cars cross. on the road? Go. What are those? <laughs> this is called the postman. Box. He is the post box. This is where you put the letters in and then Santa ships them off to the No, no, the he world. doesn't, Jack. Who told you that? Santa is red, like Santa Claus. You know what else is red? What? Who else agrees that Jack's vlogs suck total oh ass God, and I should is... just take over? This is my first vlog. Yeah, and it already sucks. Probably does, to be honest. Yeah, but it's so bad we that, can edit even, that out. That's even the Queen said it's good. Do you know how I can tell that it's going to rain? It's because no. you can smell that it's raining. Yeah, like, it... I have this innate thing, I can smell the rain and know it was Yeah, but it's, rain. it already is raining, Jack. Yeah, but that's because so I smell... smelling the rain. Yeah, because it's raining. No, what yeah, you, you just say? said you assume, you know when it's gonna rain. Yeah, I do. But you no, know, you just said because the opposite. I can smell it. You can smell what? The rain. I can also see the rain, so that's how I know. Guys, it's very exciting. There's another obstacle for Jack to cross. Here we go, Jack. There's literally no trains. No trains for like half an hour, 50 minutes. But you know, Jack literally cannot cross. Can I cross? Yes, literally cross. Right. Succeed. Well, like Bear Grylls, adapt, like overcome, adapt. We've now arrived in the awesome field, which I love to come to when I go on walks. Guys, I forgot to introduce one of the other characters. This, this is Max. Say hello. Hello. Say, oh, you did, alright. You said hello. hello. This is his dog, Roxy. This is Roxy. That's There's Roxy. Some birds over there. Where's the birds? Just over there. Who eats grass. Are you bird watching right now? Yeah, just just checking out some birds. I think they they're black. Yeah. Uh, they they fly. Oh, that's so cool. And they're birds. Okay, they we're gonna play hide and seek. Yeah. I'm okay. gonna hide, and you have to find me. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay, go hide. We meant to have our eyes closed. No, I don't oh, okay. know. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, now they know where I am. I reckon he's this. Yeah, way we were watching you anyway. Well, well I thought way. I was hiding quite well. No, we were... Shouting my name. You are... Oh. You see me? Yeah. You don't blend in, do you? Give me my phone. Okay, sorry. Give... Give me my phone now. Blank. Stop filming me. Just hand me my phone. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you ruined my game of hide and seek. Why'd you hit me on the buttocks? Jack's then? buttocks just hurt. It wasn't now. on camera, but he just hit me on the buttocks. Tell yeah. them I'm not five foot four. He's about five seven. No, no, I'm, I'm, six I'm two. about three foot. So yeah. Jack's probably about four. Yeah. He's like five foot three. A normal brick is ten centimeters, <laughs> and you're like sixteen bricks tall. I'm not sixteen bricks tall. You I'm are. So you're like two. one point six no, meters. Don't count by bricks. Count by my height. No, he's about one point four. One point four bricks. One. I think there's a lean on the wall as well, so yeah, actually exactly. it's less bricks. Yeah. Jack, how do you feel about being five foot four? Oh, I wouldn't know, because I'm not. You're annoying me now. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry mate. About that, Jack. Yeah. Well, you Jack, you, you can't right? live in lies all your life. Hello? Hello? Who are you calling, Jack? Oh, I'm just calling your mum. That's horrible. That's not funny. Sorry. That's not... No, actually... I wasn't actually nah, calling actually, your mum. No, actually, no, I don't want to really be friends with you anymore. I don't know your mum. You, well, you do know my I'm mum. I'm talking but... about you, I'm talking about these viewers. Hello. So you're calling all these Hello. viewers mum on a group call? Viewers, on a group call? <laughs> Pardon? 
On a group call? I'm in a group call with everyone's mums who's watching There's this. quite a lot of people then. Yeah. Quite a lot of mums. Very many. Some people might have two mums. What if they don't have a mum? That's not nice. If you don't have a mum, I'm calling your guardian. Or your dad. Or your dad. Or if, you, or if you're looked after by your siblings, I'm calling your sibling. Or Are if they... you live on your own. You're calling them. I'm calling you. It's a bit grey, but it's at least the view is nice. There's a famous story behind this boat. One day they were driving it in the sea and then it crashed. And then no one since then has ever decided to move it out of the sea because it's aesthetic and haunted, which is a good tourist attraction. Yeah, Jack was wrong. And it actually was a, it was Noah's Ark ship. It's not Noah's it Ark is. ship. You don't know what you're saying, mate. I'm gonna jump in the sea. Go then. Wait, give me a second. Okay. You can keep filming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go, Jack, jump in the sea. Go. Jack. Oh, you're so crazy. Climb, climb, climb. There's so much wind. You should do it, come on. I'll ask the dog. Roxy will go in. Throw ro no, actually don't throw Roxy in, that won't work. No, don't actually do it. Jack, how's the big way? It's good. Nice. I want my coffee. Hey guys, I finished my walk and now I want a cup of tea. So I'm going to show you all how I make my tea. First, boil the kettle. I've already done that bit. If you don't own a kettle, grow up and buy one. Now you need your tea. Yorkshire. The best one. Ah, that's nice. There we are. Then that's boiled. Now you pour the water in. Lovely, okay. You gotta wait for this to brew. That's very important. Don't go pouring the milk in when it's not actually brewed because then it will look like, it'll look like piss. Brew it for like two or three minutes. Oh, strong tea. A good strong tea, that's what you want. And do you have sugar in your tea? No. It's sweet enough, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sweet enough without it. That's precisely correct. And now you pour the milk in, not lots. Just enough. See, so you have that there, and then you see, is that strong enough? Maybe I've made it too weak. Or does that look all right? I think that looks okay. That looks good. That looks good. That's the color you want. You want a nice dark cup of tea. And then you sit, relax, and drink. I asked this guy here if he wanted a tea, and he said, yes please, a peppermint will do. What a ridiculous comment. He just had to go home and walk his dog. Walk Bertie? Yeah. Me um, and Max have made a cup of tea without you. How do you feel? Um, I Are you feel upset? Side, sidelined. I feel disrespected. I feel left out. I feel thirsty. I'm very sorry about that. And let's I make feel... you a tea. Come on, let's go. He's I don't forget out. to add milk. I've already gone through this. I've already explained oh, how you make tea. What are you doing? You can't add milk before you take the tea bag out. Yeah, you can, because then you can adjust. You can't well, adjust. You can. You can't you, adjust you can. it. You can squeeze the tea bag. No, you with can't. You can't let the side down. He is. I'm not letting the side down. You're really don't, don't making us look bad. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I just said some really strict rules as to how you make tea, and now you're messing them up. Jack, you can't be strict. I can. You can. This is my house. It's not. If you don't want to make tea, right, you can leave. <laughs> so they have both left now. Thank God. But um, a lot of people ask me about my sweaters and my vests, so I thought I could show you all the ones I have in my wardrobe. Let me know if you want me to do a try-on haul. I will do that in a video if people want that. Here's one I like to wear. This is kind of like a... a kugi, I think they call it, but it's not like an official one. It's kind of like a... a cheaper one, and it is a bit itchy, but it does look good, so... It depends. Do you think an itchy jumper is worth wearing if it looks so swag and awesome? I think so. This one's quite similar. It's sort of like a kugi. It's more baggy, that's the only problem. Like, it comes down to the neck like that and it doesn't quite fit amazingly nice. But it is comfortable. It's soft, even though it's like, you know, a knitted material. Of course, we've 
I've got my classic blue and purple. Everyone asks where I get this one. And I got it from Urban Outfitters Renewed section in Brighton. But I don't think I'd ever be able to find another one like this because it looks nice, it's a unique colour, but it's really soft and I can wear it without a t-shirt if I'm just at home. It smells British, it smells like me, and I love that. So this one was actually made by one of my followers. I remember they were contacting me about it. Nope, it's not that one, actually. This is one someone just sent me. I apologise. It's really nice. So I'm sorry if I forgot your name, but thank you very much. I do love it. Here it is. This is the one someone made for me. Again, it's a vest, so it kind of fits similar to this. But look at those colours, it's so nice. It's quite hard to get the full thing in. But it's really nice, it's soft, it's not itchy. You know, it's comfortable, it fits well, because they did actually ask for my diameters, I think you'd say. Am I the only one that like struggles to put on clothes? Like, I don't know. If I can see the label, and I put it on, is the label meant to be at the back? I don't know why I still struggle with this. I think that's the front. Have it's I got it better wrong? when I'm standing up? Look at that. But yeah, basically those are all my sweater vests. I thought I could finish this video just going through those because a lot of people ask about them. And maybe this can become a fashion channel. Even though I know nothing about fashion, I just find anything that looks ugly and then you can make ugly clothes look nice. I don't know if it's just because I'm wearing them and I look amazing in everything or... They actually are quite nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Um, as it appears, I don't do much. But if you did enjoy, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I had a nice day. I enjoyed doing this. But that is the day in the life of an English boy in rural England. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, everyone.